Nityanandam, with the auspicious grace and blessings of our Guru, His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda Swami, or Swamiji, I welcome you to this video where I interview today uh, Mary, Mom Mary, from Los Angeles. She's uh, uh, part of our LA Sangha, an inner awakening grad a few times. She's lived in the Adinam for a few months, and obviously, she's a disciple of Swamiji. And she's had quite a lot of amazing experiences, you know, attending the awakening program um, with power manifestation and being a mother and she, uh, of a son that's seven years old, who's also attended the programs in the Adinam. So she's witnessed personal, she's witnessed transformation in her son. And she's also recently started her own vegan and sattvic baking business. And all of Swamiji's teachings, everything helped position that to happen in making what it is today, right? So we're going to start off with, you've taken Inner Awakening about how many times now? So three times. Three times, okay. So what would you say is the most um, takeaway from the Inner Awakening program, personally for you? Probably we don't have a whole lot of time, so whatever you think stands out. Uh, the thing that I took away most from Inner Awakening is um, just being able to do things that I never, ever would have thought were possible. Like where I, when I went to Inner Awakening, I just thought I was going to go to India and come back. Like I didn't realize how much my life would expand. My mm -hmm. life went from just going to work every day and trying mm -hmm. to get by and be the best mother I knew how to being able to travel the world and have so many different experiences and lived in different countries and um, just like become part of life. And you're a single mom. Yes. Right. So you're doing a lot on your own and going to the program, making that happen. Like anything, like I think we were talking earlier about your how you related to the world just changed. Mm -hmm. right? And it, the, the way I relate, like I became part of the world, like as far as power manifestation, I was telling her before uh, I wasn't, I, I surf and um, it was kind of like the ocean was separate than me, but now she's I She's really a surfer, by the way. <laughs> like, she's awesome. If you see her Facebook pictures, like she's literally surfing like a professional. But so, like, that <laughs> was only possible after in her awakening okay. because I had a lot of fear going into that. And I would just sit in the water and just ask Swamiji, just to show me, you know, how, how can I express, like just express through me on this wave. And then the fear would just drop and I would just go. So wow. I, I didn't even feel like I was doing it. I felt like he was doing it through me. So wow. it actually became like a living power manifestation <laughs> session while I was surfing. Wonderful. And as far as starting your own business, like was that something you'd always planned for? Or like how did? Uh, it was something that I always wanted to do, but I could never figure out the, the timing. Like uh, I'm a single mom and mm -hmm. um, Yuri's father passed away before he was born, so I don't I don't have any help in that area. So I always felt stretched for time, like I had to be with my son all the time, and then I was working full time, mm -hmm. and then trying to start the business too, and I, I couldn't ever maintain it. And then after an awakening, I it was mostly like just dropping the fear and learning how Swamiji teaches us how to drop our impossibilities as they come up and being able to actually see something manifest and not give up, have that will persistence to keep going. Awesome. Yes. And that's what Swamiji teaches all of us is just the will persistence, make it happen. So you also um, were mentioning how your son keeps manifesting powers, which are just surprising you basically what he's able to do at his age. Oh, yes. Yeah. I don't pretend to, I basically just, if Yuri says he understands how to do something, I just let him do it. I don't question it, even though he's only seven. Like, he'll figure out how to work the computer. He'll figure out how to fix an electrical appliance or, like, something. He's only seven. Is wrong with the car. <laughs> he just intuitively knows, like, how to work things or was this there where before? to go. No, it was not. He actually told me one time we were driving in Lombok, Indonesia, mm -hmm. And I was going to run out of gas, and I didn't know it. Uh -huh. 
and he told me, Mom, pull over, pull over. So I'm just telling me to tell you to pull over at this gas station. And I'm like, why? Why do we need to pull over? And then I looked and I saw that we're out of fuel and it was almost the middle of the night and it would have been very dangerous wow. for us otherwise had we not stopped. So he's <laughs> a blessing to have around. Good, good. So how is his, like, um, have you seen any shift in his personality or confidence? Or his yes. Absolutely. His confidence is tremendous. Like before in our awakening, I mean, we would have tantrums and fights and just crying. And I, I really believe it's because he, that powerlessness inside him, he, he didn't know how to express and get across what he needed to do. Mm -hmm. And so he would just cry and go to a tantrum and we would fight. And then afterwards, like he comes to the solution much more quickly. He was six years old sitting in a restaurant one time and he was hungry and most kids his age would cry because they're hungry and they want their food but yuri got up and he went and asked the the waiter look is my food ready yet <laughs> but i'm getting hungry so it's just that instead of going into that powerlessness he thought of the solution and took action you know to be an advocate for himself awesome. at age six so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing to watch great great yeah we've seen him like been, you've been coming here for several years and how all of these kids they just blossom after going to the new awakening program and they're not uh normal societal kids anymore they're really their own beings absolutely and everyone says it too like my whole family just they are amazed at how easily you can handle life situations that other kids aren't able to handle what a gift so um we'll probably have another interview where we talk about your time in the Adinam, like living in India, living in an Adinam, like living the Vedic lifestyle, you know, coming from the West, we can probably have another interview. Um, we actually will wrap it up for uh, Puja now. So if you want to watch uh, Daksha Bada Puja live or on Nityananda.tv, it's going to start in a few minutes, followed by Rudra Abhishekam. So thank you everyone for tuning in and watching. And uh, thank you, Mary, for joining us. Thank you. And thank you so much. And Nityanandam.